Um, but, you know, thankfully, like, thankfully, I don't know if you've, thankfully, I'm glad to hear you got out of, out of it just like me. Um, dang, I can't believe we got into a game right after a serious topic like that. That sucks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's just go ahead and land, uh, out here in just the sand area. Uh, cause there's actually a lot of loot over here. Um, um I don't see a yellow mark. Yeah, the marking in this game is awful. You just got to look oh, at your okay. mini-map, see a little white triangle, look in that direction, and then you're good. Um, I don't see anyone around us. All right. If I cut my parachute, I can redeploy it, right? Or no? Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, multiple times. You can do it a thousand times if you want. Uh, so, I don't remember oh. the exact places but there's five uh boxes over here oh, uh, my shift does not work i can't cut it <laughs> oh you're kidding <laughs> <laughs> all right well whatever i'll get Just down there eventually slow down huh yeah it's that's weird is it thing. is it a keybind or is it your keyboard uh i i don't know i don't think it's my keyboard all right that's strange yeah just run with me right now um so when playing warzone uh, the first habit that you should always do when you see an enemy or you get shot at is just get behind cover. Ego challenges do not exist in this game. It is just always get behind cover. Um, now, once we get behind cover, that's where you can challenge multiple angles on the enemy. It's like, even though we're at this one wall right here, you could crouch, peek up here, you can go lay down and then you can peek up on this side. You, like you already did two different angles. You could also lay down like this. That's a third angle. Just always find a new angle and try to get damage down. Once we get damage down, we treat the enemy like the middle of a clock and then we rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. And the reason why is because no matter what is as long as we rotate in a circle, going left or right, we will be able to shoot them from multiple angles and get it down or just waste all their plates. Now, once we get all of their plates down or we get it down, you still rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, but then you start closing the distance. And then once you close the distance, that's where you, you know, jump out with peeker's advantage. You can throw in a stun. Normally, if it's a building, you would do a hop up into the second story. And that's just Call of Duty right there for the actual mechanics and winning gunfights. That's all it is. Right. Um, when you're in an up-close gunfight, spam your jump button. It's one of the greatest things you can do up close. And then when you're in a medium range, long range gunfight, drop shot. Okay. Um. Again, these are like your last resorts where like if you're up close and you're like mid gunfight, just spam the jump button. And then if you're out in the open, but you don't have any cover and you're getting shot, drop shot. And then you can, you know, get behind cover. Uh, but regardless, the goal is always the first thing you do is get behind cover. You get damage down and then you rotate clockwise, counterclockwise. Get damage down, rotate. Get damage down, rotate. Over and over again. Is this re recorded at all? Are you recording this? Oh, yeah, I'm recording it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, we're going to... I watched a video where it was like, okay, if you land at these spots, you're going to find a crap ton of loot. I think they lied. <laughs> <laughs> I think they lied. Or the game updated, and they no longer exist over here. Um, so right now, let's say uh, we wanted to get to a new area, like out here we would still treat that area like the middle of a clock and figure out, do we rotate clockwise or counterclockwise to get there? And the way you determine that is by high ground and the place with most cover. So right now, we're rotating high ground. That's why I rotated towards the left. If we rotated towards the right, like, yeah, we have trees. But having high ground is way better because your cover is literally just this, laying down. Right. Um, so always rotate for high ground, rotate for cover. Now, um, 
that has everything to do with the gunfights. We just now need to like talk about like the actual like game plan for things. Here's one of the loot boxes, finally. Let me go find there should be another one over here. Uh, another thing too, let's say this was like a point of interest, right? So, uh, and by that, I mean like Rohan Oil, Almazer City. So if you pull up your big map right now, uh, just all these areas, whenever you're going to a new area, treat it like the middle of the clock and just rotate on the edge, going clockwise, counterclockwise. Um, if there's an enemy at, you know, the buy station, that's where, again, you rotate clockwise, counterclockwise to get to the, you know, uh, you just rotate... To the place with most cover so technically right here you would rotate counterclockwise and now you're closer to that building you rotate around you hop in and now you just killed that enemy at that buy it's just constantly rotating uh and like right here if this was a point of interest we treat it like the middle and we just stick to the edge and you run and jump and turn like this constantly because you want to center back and make sure you can like see anyone you know who might try to kill you by accident or something. Uh, here's another hidden cash crate that you can loot. And when it comes to looting, uh, when we first land, just pick up as much loot as possible. Just soak it all up. Just boom, 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 and then you move on. Um, and then later, later is when you can like fix your uh. Fix your backpack. Now, when you're playing this game, literally all you need in your backpack is just plates, really. Uh, but you can also stow UAVs. You can stow another, you know, plate box you can still a lot of things um since this is your first time playing i'm gonna be honest it, it will take time to get you know used to uh but like just don't be afraid of it just make sure you always have plates like just always pick up plates those are the best things you can pick up everything else you just need a gun and ammo that's it gun ammo plates that's all you really need you don't have to worry about anything else gotcha Um, all right, let's actually go do something. Um, so, by the way, uh, just to kind of like predict where the game is ending, all you have to do is just eyeball the middle of the circle. That's another reason why I wanted us to land here was because we're where the game is going to end. Um, it, it, like, I have some students where all they want is wins. They don't care if they get one kill. They just want to win. Right. And this is what I tell them. It's you eyeball the middle of the circle, you land there, and you can literally just sit here and just put your controller down and, like, go do dishes, go take a shower, come back, and you're you're fine. <laughs> you're going to be in zone, you're going to have positioning, and you're going to be able to win the game. Um, but obviously we're going to want to, uh, like go play for kills so we can start going to do that. Uh, out in our left, we see this red flare in the, uh, in the, in the sky. That means the uh, enemy was just bought back at this buy station. So I treat this buy station like the middle of the clock. And then once we start, you know, getting towards the edge of the map, this is where we start rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. Based on my visual, rotating left looks better because there's more cover and there's a lot more, like, high ground, kind of. Uh, there's loot in here that we can grab. Here's the Fennec if you want to win an up-close-range gunfight. Oh, you can just... just what? That works like that? Yeah, yeah. So, like, if you find five UAVs, you can put all five UAVs in your backpack. And just constantly pop them. Yeah, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to like how this works. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was saying for now and like the next few games that you play, just worry about gun, ammo for that gun, plates. That's it.
And then the more you play, the more you can like be like, oh, you know what? I'd much rather hold three different UAVs. Oh, I'd much rather hold three UAVs, two plates, and then pff, whatever, you know. <laughs> Uh, so that is a contract that we could go towards, um, but again, like I want to see if we can find the enemy over here and get a kill. Um, so we're still treating that buy station like the middle of the clock and we're rotating clockwise counterclockwise because no matter what, by doing this, eventually we will run into the enemy. Um, now, I have money for a UAV, so just to save us time and go for kills, I'm going to go give us a UAV. Uh, what? I was so lost. Oh, yeah. wait, I can't. There you go. Cool. And there's a box up here. I'm just going to go grab this box real quick. If All right. I can't climb the ladder. Why does this ladder not work? Do you see this? Oh, there we go. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and push across towards that buy station. And as I push across towards that buy station, I hope you realize something. We're now the middle of the clock, right? I think there's people camping in here. Oh, they already bought the UAV. So I think there's people camping in here. I'm going to go ahead and just... Yep. Oh. Oh. Another team? Uh, no, yeah, I guess so. Yep. Oh, I can't believe he just fooled you like that. I literally ran into his face. Wow. All right. Uh, so those guys were literally camping there the entire time. Um, and all we did was we worked the windows and the doorways. So when it comes to buildings, all you want to do is treat the building like the middle of the clock and rotate clockwise, counterclockwise around it, just looking to kill the enemies through the window and through the doorways. Obviously, if you could find a hop up to get into the second story, do that because that's way better. Like right there, we were shooting those guys in the second story and they had no idea what was going on. Um, and then when you're playing inside of buildings, like once you clear it out and we're playing against, like we're about to get third party, right? So you know how we just got third partied right now? Right. That's normal. That should always happen. You should always just expect that. So the way we play that is now that we have the building control, all you do is play windows and doorways so you can leave them and like constantly juke them out. All right. So the Gulag, you can just play it like a normal multiplayer map. There's three lanes. I'm just going to go left lane, see if I can get a pick or two. Guys aren't, oh, one pushed up on the left. Careful of the juggernaut. He pushed onto our right, uh, right side behind you. And our right side spawn, yep. Yep. We have to go push him because of the juggernaut. There we go. Good stuff. Cool. Uh, so right here, we're going to go ahead and whenever you spawn back from the gulag, typically you're going to reset. Now, when you reset, normally you either land at your dead body to grab your weapons. You can go for a contract to get money and get your loadout and everything. Or you can do this, just land on your loadout. Uh, so I'm going to land at the loadout that I marked, the one at the very top towards the middle of the circle where the game is going to end. And this loadout always gets here when the third circle uh, starts closing. Oh, and you can't. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no. I'm just. I'm just floating, man. Oh man, I wish I could like. 
I wish I could like shoot your uh shoot your uh uh what are they? Strings or whatever. I'm gonna need to uh, after this game I think I seen a bullet flying. Um I'm gonna need to go and like get my control. Oh yeah, you're about to get sniped. Yep. No, yeah, there's yep. a team. And like these guys out here, they have CDL skins. They have a car. Like these kids are just picking up the pace. That's it. Um, and our best bet is to just grab that loadout and just play the heady. They have snipes though, so careful. Shit. Oh, shit. I'm getting shot by a completely different team. Huh. Yeah. Sucks to suck. I see if I can move though. Oh, they're driving my way. I think they see me. No, oh, I'm ah! trying to get to you. There's two. Heard. Yep, yep. They're uh, they're doing that thing. Interrogate. Uh. I wish I could shoot or something. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick up all their loot, and then we're gonna go up towards the mountains. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I just need to play this game. It's just so drastically different. Yep. Uh, and whenever you want to loot, just make sure you always go to their uh, backpacks. That's where you can find their stuff. All right, cool. Won a very important gunfight. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and start rotating up toward these mountains because they're high ground and that's positioning that we want. Yeah, that's glitched. Okay. Yeah. Uh I totally oh, wait, forgot. What happened to my look? Oh, uh, never mind. I'm tripping. You're good? Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna take this car. Uh so that's the thing, is we're always gonna just be rotating you know we're gonna treat a point of interest like the middle of a clock rotate get to a building treat it like the middle of a clock rotate we see enemies treat them like the middle of the clock rotate 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 the only difference between pro players and amateurs is pro players they use vehicles they're really good at using vehicles such as this team right here up here i'm gonna go ahead and just drive away until we can get up towards this roof right here or this mountain Go ahead and get out. And just get up here. Make sure we get up here first. And then they're obviously going to be right in front of us on this truck. I'm going to go ahead and just kill streak us close. All right, I just kill streak the truck. They're probably gonna move right now. I got one downed. I'm treating them like the middle of the clock. I'm rotating out left. You can try to rotate right. Oh no, getting shot from behind by another team. No, dang it. Just focus on this team that we have downed. And just say, yeah, rotate right. Yeah, rotate right. Yep, and this is perfect. He's right there. You got this. Nice. Now go get, get go get your other kill. Nice. On your oh. right, he has self revive. Ah, yeah. It, so right mm. there, I should have called that out. Yo, the guy on your right has self revive, uh, because that's what happened right there. He self revived and shot you in your side. And that's another feature that is annoying about Call of Duty is almost everyone gets self-revive. Like, those things are easy to pick up. Uh, but you can go ahead and uh, load us up into another game. Uh, you just leave party or leave game with party and then load up another one. 
And we'll actually pick up the pace and everything. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, let me look. Great job. Great job treating them like a middle of the clock and rotating right right there. Because by the time you got there, they weren't even looking at you. You shot them. They still weren't looking at you. They were wondering, where are we getting shot from? And that is going to happen every single time. As long as you treat them like the middle of the clock and rotate. What the freak is premium XP boost activated? Is that, is that some global wide? Premium? What? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that just was. Interesting. Uh, let me look at my keybinds right quick and then I'll load up another game. I guess I could probably do that while it, because it's going to take forever. So yeah, let's no just start the game and then I'll look at my keybinds while waiting for five minutes. All right, we'll do some of that. We'll do 0 0.0. Some of that. All right, so I need to be able to look at them. I feel like I'm gonna have to switch a lot of stuff. Okay, so. Shift is not really the move for changing stance. Um, interact is fine. I need to switch map. Show map needs to be caps. My backpack should be tab because I'm used to that from Fortnite. Uh, that's how you ping. Ping me well is that. Okay, is there anything else that I need to worry about right now? Oh, parachute bullshit. Hmm. Uh, body is so sore. <laughs> that has been basically a year since I've been at the gym, and oh my gosh. So, literally, those rules that I gave you, just first thing you do, get behind cover. You peek, you get shots down, you rotate clockwise, counterclockwise. If they're inside of a building, you go for a hop up, but just rotate around the building clockwise, counterclockwise, look for windows and doorways to shoot the enemies. The reason, another reason why you play in doorways and windows is just because you can literally enter and leave them. They act as 50-50 exits. They are the best cover when you are in a building, no matter what. Windows and doorways. They are the best cover when you are in a building. Um, now that we have all of that down, here's the part where we like kind of like start VOD reviewing and we have strategy, right? So once again, we eyeball the middle of the circle and I see that the game is gonna end somewhere between Marshlands Hydro Observatory. We know that. The base on the way the plane is flying in, the game, or sorry, based on the way the plane is flying in, there's gonna be a lot of people Hydro, a lot of people Observatory, a lot of people Village. Because of that, we're gonna land Observatory. All right. Now, Observatory is just a place that we land literally every single time and we watch VOD review until we can perfect this one part of the map because landing is the most important. Um, so the best thing that works for me is we're going to go ahead and land on this roof right away. And usually there should be a gun on this left side right here and one right on me. 
got that. Uh, so it should be over here. Are you serious? What my sp no, now my sprints broke. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, no, you're good. You're good. All right, the gun wasn't here, but usually this is where you just break down and then you just start looting up. Um, and you can grab this loot. You, like you could chill in this room and work on your uh uh da -da 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 -da, your keybinds while I loot up. Oh, I just need uh, let's move sprint. Uh, keyboard, keybind, key sprint, where you at? Sprint, 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 sprint. I want hack sprint. What is that? Back. And I'll work. All right. All right, cool. Sprint's back. That's working. All right, cool. All right, so do you remember how in that last game I was like, all right, we're going towards the middle of the circle, right? We're going towards the middle of the clock. Right. Um, so all that means is now that we're the middle of the clock, we have to get to high ground and clear out a 360 radius. So once I'm done looting this building, which I'm already done looting it, um, we're good. Um, here, I'll, I'll give you some ammo right here. Uh-oh. All right, this, this guy's May. All right, they didn't come in here. All right, cool. Uh, so here's ammo that you can pick up, and then here's a self-revive you can have. Uh, it's all right here. Oh, I was yep. like, what? Cool. And now what we need to do is we need to get to the rooftop. So that vehicle is going towards us. Try to get to me. Get out. Yep, we're gonna get to this ladder, and we're the middle of the clock right now. So what I'm gonna do real quick is there's a guy up there. We can shoot that guy if you want. Yep. Good stuff. Nice, got the kill. And you just want to look all four sides. Literally, make sure you clear out a 360 radius. So we're all good on our southeast and northeast side. We're all good. We just really need to focus on. What's in front of us at this dome where we killed that guy? Uh, and there's a guy that just yep, ran yep. under us. Yep. Tower, top tower. Heard. And there's a person under us. You camp on roof because you ain't you ain't shit. I hear somebody to my bottom left. I heard. Believe. Bottom left. Heard. Dead. Good call. Trash. Got it. I cannot. Get this guy up there. And come down here and grab this guy's loot. Right here. What? Well, I can't, uh... Then once you grab that loot, go right back to the roof from that one ladder that I showed you. not store more than three plates or uh so you uh like no you can you can have literally 12 plates uh it's just right now we have small backpacks so you can only ho you only have like five things you can hold in uh someone just blew up next to you by the way like over in this direction i'm going up the ladder Heard. Person on my 58 meter mark. Okay. I'm gonna pop a UAV just to be safe. All right, yeah, that's the only team. Yep. Yeah. One's trying to snipe. One's crossing. Saw that cross. I'm good. I'm good. You got that one. Got one. Nice. Big kill. Big kill. The last guy's inside that building. Broke. Heard. Just camping behind the brick wall. Rotating the right a little bit, get a new angle. Brick wall dead. Oh, okay. Did you get your full kill? Uh, I got one. Yeah, cool, perfect. 
Awesome. Now we can go ahead and go loot those guys. Based on my minimap, there's one team out towards this direction, but we have time to like loot these up real quick. I don't know where he went though. I don't see him. Is both they stuff over there? Uh, no. Your guy uh, is. No, he died somewhere right over here. here. Oh, there it is. Once again, immediately, I'm just getting right back to high ground. Just because if we're in the middle of the circle, you have to get to high ground to make sure you're covered all 360 sides, you know? All directions. Oh, okay. I'm starting to see how this menu thing type kind of works. Up to my right, unless that's you. Uh, I'm jumping on the building. Oh, that's you. Okay. Right. I think that's you. Hey, find a ladder. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you could just take the zip line. Yeah. Forgot these exist. Um, but the last time I saw an enemy was over at this dome based on our UAV. So I'm just checking the side to see if they're pushing up towards us. And I don't see anything pushing towards us. This is where we're going to like start going for kills again. Um, so if you remember, the plane, it flew in over Quarry, Rohan Oil and hydroelectric right right so because of that we're gonna go towards hydroelectric because that's where all everyone landed and we're gonna be able to go get those kills and then once we kill everyone at hydroelectric we're gonna come right back up to observatory do you know why uh because that side should be pretty safe exactly it's like hydro should be safe um but not only that when we do come back up towards hydro like, there may only be one team, and we can get those kills, which is always nice. Um, another big reason why we go back towards uh, Hydro, or sorry, uh, Observatory, is because if you pull up the big middle of the map, that's like the middle of the map, and it's high ground. So, if we have high ground on the entire map, we're good. And if the game ends at Observatory, we're good. We're already there where the game ends. So uh, essentially we have like five minutes to go out towards Hydro and go for kills, which we already see like people shooting. Like this helicopter, there's people in this helicopter. There's people on this roof fighting. It, it's all good. It is all good. So these people on the roof out there, go ahead, dolphin dive off of this uh, cliff and pull your parachute. And I'm rotating towards the right right now because that's the highest ground. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that building is the highest building, so I'm rotating towards the highest building in this area, and of course we're sticking on the edge of the map right now. We're sticking, rotating, uh, counterclockwise. I'm below. Heard. And we're just gonna go ahead, get to this rooftop, because it's high ground. And right now we're gonna be behind people. Streaking over. Yeah, so I'm assuming that these people are, like, about to fight in this building. If we hear gunshots, we're just going to rush in and go third party. Just like that team did to us in the last game. Oh, I got sniped out. Okay, there's more fighting out there. Right there. Okay, so there's a person on this building, and there's a person on that far building right there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to push up. Because it looks like, and try to get to this building right here. Oh, dang it. It's better if we get into this building on our left. It's way better. It's safer than just going up that ladder because there's an enemy in that building. Auto. Oh, yeah. And, you know, eventually you'll have the entire map memorized <laughs> uh, after your reps. But... Once you're good, we're pushing up, and sure enough, I'm behind this guy. He's cracked. He dropped down. There's two people in here. In this building directly under me. Unspotted. I'm uh, now we time for you to... Jeez, dude. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting shot. 
Yeah, but I don't know from where. Miss like every bullet. They're in my building. Okay. Yeah, they're just directly under my building. Right below. Heard. Yeah, they're in the first story. Wow, that game did not want to give me those kills. It tried its hardest not to give me those kills. It's disturbing. God, my keybinds are still messed up. This is annoying, actually. Okay, I I see how. Let's see what's going on there. What is this? Oh, an extra armor plate. Got one shot uh, right here. So all I'm doing is I'm treating him like the middle of the clock, and then I'm rotating towards the right to just pretty much cut him off guard and just cut him from a different angle. Uh, I didn't see him, so I'm just going to get to this rooftop. Pushing up. And he should just be, be playing inside of this building because he's, you know, ideally scared, which is, yep, he's in the bottom floor. So I'm pushing to the third story quick. Because he shouldn't expect this. One. Got two. Ooh, <sighs> wow, dude. Yeah, and like, it's this easy, bro. It is this easy. <laughs> Ooh, what in the hell? I could tell. I'm like, right now, I'm more. People coming in? Heard? Bottom floor? Yeah, bottom. Heard? We're just going to go up top. And we're playing windows and doorways. So, like, this is how I'm playing this window and this doorway. Because if they shoot me inside, I drop outside. If they shoot me outside, I go inside. Mm, nice. Yeah. Um, can you uh, drop me your cash? I'm going to go buy a UAV. Uh, yeah, let me figure out how to do that. Heard? Oh. Cool. I'll go buy this UAV and figure out where these guys are. I think I only heard one. So, he could have been just running by. There he is. He's on the bottom floor. Oh. Nice. My yeah, my key bind messed up. I meant to because I was gonna drop shot, <laughs> but uh, I don't I don't have drop shots right now. I can't. Enemies I'm flying crouched. in. Enemies flying in. Right, this is where right, like this is where like you can try to get a free kill out of the sky. It's always fun. I'm gonna see him. Oh, there. Oh, wait. He's just floating. Oh, there's another one too. Like, that guy landed, like, close, so, like, that, we, yeah. That. I'm just going to get to the rooftop. Make sure you get your plates on, too. It's so much slower than multiplayer. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. This is... Like, dumb slower. Yeah, but like right now, like I'm playing way too slow. Like we could easily be pushing up and going somewhere else, you know? Uh, which like I don't see these guys anymore. Uh, let's go back up towards observatory because there's a load out there and it's a high ground and we just came from there. And we land there so we know everything about that place. Like it, That's base camp, right? So um, I'm kind of like just doing a shortcut just because I remember that UAV. There's no people around us. We kind of cleared everyone out in this direction. Maybe there's people next to this vehicle. I hear bullets are left. Yeah. Yeah, there's people in this building. Careful. It's like, uh, again, just like, you know, look to see if you could shoot from windows, doorways. Nothing. All right, they're in the other building above us, so we're going to rotate. Oh, I think that's the vehicle making noise. Yeah. Yeah, that's 100% that vehicle making noise. All right. All right, let's go ahead and go up to observatory. Like, I wanted to take that vehicle to go up towards observatory, but <laughs> it's on the rooftop. I... I don't know how it got there. 
Yeah, I didn't really process that. <laughs> Why is there a truck on top of a building? Um, but right now we're playing safe, by the way. Like we're playing the safe uh like gameplay, right? Where we're just going back towards high ground, middle map, so we can kill get kills up here, and then we're gonna get towards the end game where we're gonna have 20 kills. Uh again, pro players, when they're in a tournament, if we're hearing gunshots out towards our left, they're just going. They're, they are just going. They say, screw observatory. We're not going there. We're going towards those gunshots because we want kills. Um, but regardless, we right. should know that there's people here. Like, we, we are going to run into people no matter what. Yep, sure enough. Careful on your left, just back up to your right. Yeah, just back up to your... Oh, I got sniped. You're oh, good. Just back up to your right. Alright. And we need to rotate and get into one of these buildings. Ah, uh, they got me. Good job. They're out in the road. Ah, uh, they just... Yeah. Did no, yeah. Shot. And those guys were sitting on the edge right there. I was just... Honestly, like, the reason why I died was very stupid. I was just out in the open, you know? It's, I'm not too worried about that death right there. Uh, I knew they were going to be there. I just made a bad rotation. Really bad. Really bad. Uh, I should have stayed behind cover. They also hit a nasty sniper shot. I give them a lot of respect, but I made a silly mistake. Okay, uh, even though we have shotguns, Switch to your pistol. Your pistol's going to be way better. Checking right. Uh, one's on the right side. I got one on the left. I got one one shot on the right. He's going mid. He went mid a little bit. I heard they may try to double me then, so I'm going to flank left. Right, right. Coming up on you. I heard he's one shot. Dead. Last guy was our side. Just yep. keep rotating left. Keep rotating left. Keep rotating all the way. Nice. Good win. Let's go. Man, I need my shift button back. Ooh, cool. All right. So this is where we float real quick, and we have to decide how do we reset. We can either land at a loadout. We can land safe for a, a, a contract, or we can land on our dead bodies. Let's go land on our dead bodies. How the? How do you know where your dead bodies are at? Just go back to where you were at? Yeah, just go back to where you were at. All right, where is it? We were here. Oh, okay, God. There it is. Man, I got a lot to Oof. memorize. Unfortunately, there are people camping here, but I like to risk it for the biscuit. Fine by me. Once I get the technical jargon out the way, I'm going to be confident, to say the least. Good. So I'm not sure where you died. But, uh, you got sniped at, too. Oh, yeah. on top of the tower. That's cringe. This guy on your left, he's really weak. You could probably go pistol him. How uh, close? He's really close. Ooh, and there's another guy close. Oh, well. Uh, he just took an ATV and took off. Yeah. And there's two people on my dead body, so... Careful. You can just like jump off right. Yeah, jump off right. Just jump off right. Literally jump off the mountain. Yep. And then ideally, your best bet is to like land right here in this building. And there's somebody that just landed there. Yeah. They're sniping at those people. Oh, you got a um, scar. You got this yeah, gun split up. Oh, yeah. You can't cut though. You got this kill though. You can kill that guy easily. You can kill that guy. He's really bad at this game. He didn't take any shots on you. Just look that window. Yep, to your left, right here. Nice. Cool. Go ahead. Uh, yep. Good job rotating out right here. Now you can plate up, and in case someone is on you, you're full health now. By the way, in that gunfight, I promise you, if you spammed your jump button a little bit, you would have took way less damage. I 
I know his teammates over here somewhere. I guess he's not. Uh, you never know, so you just make sure you clear everything out. Yeah, I think he's more left. Yeah, no, absolutely. This is the last place you need to clear out. Is right over here. Yep. And then just check to your left again. Solid work so far. Yep, jump in and check to your left, and nothing. All right, cool. You're safe. So go loot that dead body now. Yeah, you could have just ran through the windows. It would have been fine. Okay. All right. I didn't yeah. know if I could or not. All right. So I got some now. I'll take those. I'll take those. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh. And I'll then behind that. you, and then behind you, there's a three plate. Behind you again. There you go. All right. Yep. Ah. And then it. rotate with the gas on your right. So, like, you need to start going now. Like, start rotating towards your right. Yep, go up this ladder and then just start going towards your right. You can jump off this roof without pulling your parachute. You'll be fine. Yep, and just run with the gas all the way to your right. Because all you have to worry about is what's in front of you and what's on your left. There's people on your left. You could take those kills if you want. You no need to. Yep, keep rotating right. Keep rotating right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And now right here you can turn around. Oh, yeah, no, there's people on the bridge. Keep going, keep going. Get into the water. All right. <clears throat> cool go ahead and swim out towards this direction and make sure you swim make sure you swim swimming is actually really good in this game yeah as long as you stay like this like people can't see you at all i've lost so many games because of this oh yeah you already know it they teach you this in oh. fortnite too on how to Breathe and all that. <laughs> go to your right, go to your right. Yep. Perfect, dude. All right, you're in a solid spot right now. Just make sure you clear out this cave uh, to your right. Yeah, yeah. Just like make sure you just like. Just clear it out. Just like push a little bit further in. Yeah. Just to make sure no one else is here. Oh, yeah. No, this place is lit. What the hell? Where are you? <laughs> I've never seen this part of the map because it just isn't on the map. This is sick, though. Yeah, dude. You're sitting in here. You're, you're golden, bro. You really just need to hold that lane right there. So uh, go to your right. This one. Yeah, that right. one right there. Yeah, you just need to hold that one lane. And you can get on that rooftop. Yeah, it looks like you can. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. This is perfect right here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to wait for the gas to close. Maybe someone might jump out of that building towards your left right there. You know, maybe. Oh, yeah, you see people flying. People might actually come towards this direction. There you go. Ah, uh, that tree's in Yeah, the not yet, not yet. Just wait until the gas starts coming in. Oh, there's four teams here, so this is easy pickums. Like, you just wait. You just keep waiting. Nice. All right, so all you're going to do is you're going to go back now. Go towards your left. Yep. Yep. And you're going to run with that gas, and you're going to go into that water. And you know this guy's going to be on your close left. Getting up. Yep, go ahead. You can put a plate on underwater, too. So you can, like, go deep underwater and put on plates. You could reload. It's really broken. This guy's going to be on your close left, by the way. You need to back up. You need to back up. You need to back up. Yeah, back up, back up, back up. All right, go ahead. This guy's going to be on your close left. You got to remember that. All you're trying to do is you're just trying to stick to the edge of the gas. You don't want to be in the middle. Right here, no matter what, just sit right here. This guy's going to push you on your left for sure. Oh, look at that. Close left. Yep. 
You got a secondary? Yep, there you go. Oh, damn. Got a third place, though. Yeah, I, I'm still, like... I'm trying to follow directions more than play. So, like, I'm playing not naturally. No, that's good. That's, that's yeah. Good though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're playing uncomfortable. Eventually, you're going to be comfortable. Uh, I, I just hope you see how easy it is to just drop 20 bombs and 30 bombs in this game. And, like, you know, I wish we got the... I, I wish... Like, if I didn't die, we more than likely would have got third place. I just... Bad yeah. rotations on my part. But, yeah, no, dude. You can go ahead and uh, pull us out. And uh, I'm going to have to call it there just because I need to like go yeah. do some things before scrims. Yeah, um, sure. But, yeah, I'll, I'll upload this one to YouTube, and it's... It's gold, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I definitely am going to watch over this because um, 